Why the Bank of Canada and other central banks will not stop hiking rates. The Canadian housing market has experienced substantial price increases in recent years, posing a significant challenge to the Bank of Canada BOC, in managing inflationary pressures. The relationship between housing prices and interest rates is intricate and vital to maintain economic stability. This video aims to provide a detailed explanation as to why the Bank of Canada will have to continue raising interest rates to curb inflation if the housing market continues to witness rapid price growth. Additionally, it will explore the BOCES recent interest rate actions and consider the potential consequences for the United States, England, and Australia should their central banks choose to pause interest rate hikes. The interplay between interest rates and inflation Interest rates play a pivotal role in a country's monetary policy, affecting borrowing costs, spending, and investment decisions. When the economy is overheating and inflation becomes a concern, central banks raise interest rates to curb consumer spending and cool down the housing market. Higher interest rates make borrowing more expensive, leading to reduced consumer spending and investment in housing. However, the relationship between interest rates and inflation is not always linear and straightforward. In Canada, the persistent rise in housing prices has contributed to inflationary pressures, making it challenging for the BOC to strike a balance between controlling inflation and avoiding excessive economic slowdown. A sudden increase in interest rates can have adverse effects on other sectors of the economy and lead to unintended consequences, making the BOC's policy decisions more complex. The Canadian Housing Market and Inflation The Canadian housing market has been experiencing substantial price increases for several years, driven by various factors such as low interest rates, strong demand, limited supply, and foreign investment. The surge in housing prices has had a considerable impact on inflation, as the cost of housing constitutes a significant portion of the Consumer Price Index CPI. As housing prices rise, the overall cost of living also increases, contributing to inflationary pressures in the economy. The BOCES response to the housing market boom In early parts of the year, the BOC paused its interest rate increases for several months, likely due to concerns about potential adverse effects on other sectors of the economy and household debt levels. However, as housing prices continued to shoot up, it became evident that addressing inflation required more robust measures. In June, the BOC took decisive action and unexpectedly increased interest rates by 25 basis points, signaling its commitment to tackling inflationary pressures. The rationale behind raising interest rates in June was twofold. Inflation control. The BOC recognized the need to address mounting inflationary pressures driven by the housing market. By raising interest rates, the BOC aimed to reduce consumer spending and dampen demand for housing, ultimately moderating price growth. Financial stability. The surge in housing prices posed risks to financial stability, as it increased the vulnerability of households and financial institutions to potential market corrections. Raising interest rates could help mitigate the risks of a housing bubble and subsequent economic fallout. The effect of interest rate hikes on the housing market. The BOCES decision to raise interest rates had a noticeable impact on the Canadian housing market. Higher borrowing costs reduced affordability for potential home buyers, leading to a slowdown in demand. As demand decreased, housing price growth also began to moderate. This slowdown provided evidence of the effectiveness of the BOCES interest rate hike in cooling down the housing market and curbing inflationary pressures. Potential consequences for other countries the Canadian experience with the housing market and interest rate hikes can serve as a precursor to what might happen in other countries like the United States, England, and Australia if their respective central banks were to pause interest rate hikes in the face of surging housing prices. The Bank of Canada's experience with interest rate hikes and their impact on the housing market and inflation highlights the delicate balancing act faced by central banks in managing economic stability. As the Canadian housing market continues to experience substantial price increases, the BOC will likely have to keep raising interest rates to curb inflation effectively. The recent interest rate hikes have shown some success in moderating housing price growth, providing valuable insights for other countries facing similar challenges. 
If other central banks, such as those in the United States, England, and Australia, choose to pause interest rate hikes amid soaring housing prices, they might face similar inflationary pressures and potential risks to economic stability in the long run. The key takeaway is that addressing housing market imbalances requires proactive and prudent monetary policy measures to maintain sustainable economic growth and stability. On July 25, 2023, Bloomberg explained in a video segment that higher home prices would require the Bank of Canada and other central banks to keep increasing interest rates in a piece titled, Canada's housing frenzy is bad news for central banks everywhere. The Bank of Canada took the lead among major central banks in pausing rate hikes, but after several months, it swiftly resumed its actions as housing prices surged. The underlying forces propelling housing demand in Canada could serve as a cautionary signal for central banks worldwide the Bloomberg video segment noted. In a notable turn of events, the Bank of Canada BOC, executed one of the fastest interest rate hiking cycles in history, seeking to rein in inflationary pressures and address the booming housing market. However, when the central bank decided to hit the pause button on rate hikes, it inadvertently sparked a buying frenzy in the Canadian housing market. Home prices soared, defying expectations, and raising concerns about the potential consequences for other major central banks around the globe. This housing frenzy served as a stark reminder of the intricate relationship between interest rates and the real estate market, amplifying the challenges faced by central banks in managing economic stability. As the BOC paused its interest rate hikes, speculation among investors and potential home buyers grew, with many anticipating that rate cuts might be on the horizon. This sentiment triggered an immediate surge in housing demand, especially in cities like Toronto and Vancouver. Properties were being sold on the very day they hit the market, and lines for open houses stretched down the block, indicating an overwhelming interest in homeownership. In some cases, homes were sold for hundreds of thousands of dollars above the asking price, signaling an unprecedented level of buyer enthusiasm. The sudden uptick in housing prices, which recorded a staggering 6% increase between March and June, eventually prompted the BOC to abandon its rate hike pause and resume increasing interest rates. The bank's governor, Tiff Macklem, expressed surprise at the swiftness of the housing market's rebound and the persistence of demand throughout the economy. The hike in interest rates aimed to temper the overheated housing market and prevent the formation of a housing bubble. Underlying the housing frenzy in Canada was a fundamental issue that is also prevalent in other developed nations like the United States, United Kingdom, Australia, and New Zealand, a severe shortage of housing supply. Oxford Economics highlighted that Canada's homes are currently near their least affordable levels in more than four decades, largely due to a long-term deficiency in housing construction. Insufficient housing supply relative to growing demand has created a structural deficit in the housing market, driving up prices and exacerbating affordability challenges for aspiring homeowners. This situation presents a significant dilemma for major central banks worldwide. As many economies strive to recover from the impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic and address inflation concerns, finding the right balance between interest rate policies and housing market stability becomes increasingly critical. Housing is one of the most interest rate sensitive sectors of the economy, meaning that any changes in interest rates have a substantial impact on housing affordability and demand. As the BOCES experience in Canada has shown, housing prices continued to rise despite rate hikes, leading some to question whether central banks might need to implement more aggressive rate increases to keep pace with the housing market's momentum. Such a scenario raises concerns about potential economic instability and the risk of a housing market bubble. The situation in other countries, such as the United States and Australia, further compounds the issue. Home prices in these nations are already bouncing back, potentially signaling that interest rates may not be rising fast enough or to an adequate extent. This further complicates central banks' decision-making processes as they seek to control inflation while also promoting sustainable economic growth. In conclusion, the housing frenzy in Canada has served as a cautionary tale for central banks globally, highlighting the challenges of managing interest rates in a housing market boom. The unprecedented surge in demand and home prices has underscored the significance of addressing structural housing supply issues to achieve lasting economic stability. 
Central banks worldwide must carefully navigate the delicate balance between interest rate policies, housing market dynamics, and inflation control to mitigate potential risks and foster sustainable growth. Please join in on the conversation by leaving a comment. If you found this video and information useful, please smash the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so we can keep providing you with timely information you can apply on a daily basis.